Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because Stop. No music. I didn't stuff. need to hear from you today. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're actually going to vary this angle. And then we're going to do it with two scenarios. With no friction and da -da -da, with friction. So let's also just draw that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, note down this. Mu is 0.3 in this case. And in this case, that mu is mu k. All right, oh. And here we have no friction. Is the mu coming from the cat? So we have t equals 2. Oh, yeah, actually, I heard uh, something uh, pretty funny from my physics teacher. I once asked my physics teacher, uh, why, is, uh, why did they decide to name a Greek letter after uh, the sound the cat makes? And my teacher said, but a cat says meow. What, what kind of cats are you hearing? Stupid cats? Cats with a brain disease? Okay. So, uh, we're going to let it fall down this incline plane for two seconds, and similarly here. Okay, so we have data in three scenarios with a zero degree angle, a 30 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. Now, think about what these incline planes would look like. With a zero degree angle, the incline plane wouldn't even exist. The block would just be sitting on the ground. With a 30 degree angle, we'd have a regular inclined plane with an incline of 30 degrees. And with a 90 degree angle, we'd basically have an, a big block over here and the box would fall to the side. Okay, so that is what we have over here. So let's begin. So we have uh, FG, then we have FG parallel, oh no, that's FG perpendicular, FG perpendicular, and then we have our calculated acceleration and our velocity final. Our velocity final is why we needed this part. Okay, so now, Basically, we can do everything uh, really easily because, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, do not use 10. We have 9.8. So, here, for zero degrees, this is actually really easy because, well, let's write down some shortcuts. We know that FG is obviously MG. Then, we always know that on inclined planes, FG parallel is mg sine theta. fg perpendicular is mg cos theta. fg, once again, well, you can also write it the square root of fg parallel squared plus fg perpendicular squared. And then the acceleration here, well, there's only really one force acting here. In there, so the acceleration is just g sine theta. And then v final is simply a t. All righto. So let's get to work. Fg always, Fg is always going to be constant no matter what. So what's m times g? Well, we have m, which is 10, and g, which is 9.8. 10 times 9.8 is 98. So we can write 98 newtons in all of these spaces. All right, so now, what about mg sine theta? Well, let's think back to our unit circle for this one, just the first quadrant. So what is this point? Well, this is one comma zero. This is cosine zero, and this is sine zero. So we know that sine zero is zero, and what about sine 90? Well, this point is 0, 1, isn't it? So cos 90 is 0, and sine 90 is 1. All right, and obviously 30 degrees 
is somewhere in between. I believe this is a uh, one, no, uh, this is one half comma root three over two, if I remember correctly. No, it's the other way around. I'm stupid. Okay. So that's all noted down now. So let's do this. So we know that FG parallel mg sine theta is mg times zero. Now, what about mg cosine theta? Well, cosine zero is one. So we're just multiplying mg by one. We already know what mg is, don't we? So this is gonna be 98 newtons. And we can basically swap these over here because of the similar reasoning with cosine 90 and sine 90. Okay, so what about this? Well, FG parallel squared plus FG perpendicular squared didn't vary eventual. For zero, for zero degrees, we have zero squared plus 98 squared, which is just the square root of 98 squared. So that's 98. And just switching those around, we get 98 squared plus zero squared, which is the same case for this. So we also get 98. So this is also 98 newtons. And now, oh yeah, and uh, we'll calculate this later. Don't worry. So now, what about this, A? Well, that's G. Where do we get that from, first of all? Let's try to understand that. Well, our net force, there's only one force pushing the block in the x direction. That would be FG parallel. So we essentially have mg sine theta is equal to ma. And hopefully now you can see where we come from here. So now g is simply 9.8, and then we have sine theta. Well, sine zero is zero, and it would be expected that something would not accelerate on a flat plane. And sim uh, similarly, because we are assuming that it starts from rest, Vf is going to be zero meters per second because vi is also zero. So now we can not apply the same reasoning with this one, but we know that sine 90 is simply one. So this is gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared. Remember how I said this was at? Well, t is two. So this is basically just two a. And multiplying 9.8 by two gives you 19.6 sine 30. So, we know that we have 98 sine 30, because 98 is mg, and then we know from our unit circle that sine 30 is a half, and one half of 98, simply 49. And here we have 98 cos 30, which is 98 times root three over two, which is 49 root three or 85. And now, uh, when we square these, what do you think we get? Well, okay. So we have the square root of 49 squared plus 49 root three whole squared. So how do we do this? Well, this is essentially 49 squared plus 49 squared times three. So, continuing with this, we get uh, 40. Oh, I got it, okay. So, what we do here is we factor out 49 squared, right? 49 squared times the G sine theta. All right, so now we can just factor this out. Oh yeah, and if you don't understand, this part is the square root of three whole squared. So hopefully you understand it better that way. So this is equal to the square root of 49 squared times the square root of one plus one times three is four. So that gives us the square root of 49 squared is 49. The square root of four is two. And 49 times two is 98. All right. So now, the acceleration, we know, is simply uh, g sine theta. So, 
that means that it's literally F G parallel over M, and we know M is ten, so it's F G parallel over ten. F G parallel is forty nine. Forty nine over ten is four point nine. And finally, we have V F, and we know that V F is just two times A, so it's nine point eight. Wait, did I put newtons here? I am a stupid. 9.8 meters per second. That's it for the non-friction part.